In the complete hemodialysis series, today we are going to see an important clinical problem that is muscle cramps during dialysis. Muscle cramps sometimes cause severe pain also, unpleasant feeling during dialysis and quality of the life of the dialysis patient goes down. These are all the three important issues with the muscle cramp. So what is this muscle cramp? Abnormal involuntary contraction of the muscles which will lead to pain also especially occur during the dialysis. More commonly seen in the calf muscles. The calf will go for a spasm, towards tight spasm it might go. In this video we are going to see why it occurs, what are all the causes for this. First, why it occurs? It occurs because of the hypoperfusion of the muscle. First cause, why hypoperfusion, low blood pressure, probably a vas vasoconstriction, to the blood vessels which is supplying the muscles which lead to low perfusion thereby causing uh, some metabolic abnormality causing persistent muscle contraction this is one the second because of the same mechanism that is associated with hypocalcemia any electrolyte abnormality most common being the hypocalcemia you might be heard of trosius sign when you put the BP cuff in the patient it will go for a volunteer involuntary contraction so electrolyte abnormalities also cause the persistent contraction of the muscles which result in the spasm so these are all the pathophysiology or we can say why it occurs and coming to the second part what are all the causes why it occurs during dialysis the most common is the hypovolemia the volume in the patient is less this is the most common cause in the clinical scenario if there is less volume in the patient body obviously the perfusion to the muscles will go down thereby there will be a spasm muscle spasm so cause wise i am pointing it out one two three four five and then subsequently i will explain it first i told hypovolemia the second one is hypotension the third one is the excessive ultrafiltrate rate. Whenever the ex water that is being removed from the patient is excessive, what is the cutoff for excessive? Theoretically, if I have to tell, more than 13 ml per kg per hour. On an average, you can remember as more than approximately 600 ml per hour. If it is being removed, there is a high chance patient might develop this kind of spasm. So excessive ultrafiltrate rate, hypovolemia is different, excessive ultrafiltrate rate is different. So first cause is hypovolemia, second one is hypotension, third one is excessive ultrafiltrate rate. The fourth being sodium, low sodium in the dialysis. If we set sodium at the lower side in the dialysis, many a patient develop. These are all the common causes. Apart from that, if a patient is developing recurrent spasm, what are all the causes? Hypocalcemia, severe hypomagnesemia, carnitine deficiency, chronic malnutrition. These causes recurrent spasm. Patient will develop spasm on every dialysis. So these are all the important causes. Coming to the hypovolemia, which is the most common one. Many a times patient urine output might be maintained despite that the dialysis technologist probably is because of some error excessive ultrafiltrate might be removed. For example, a patient who is passing around 2 liter of urine in the dialysis, during the dialysis they might put instruction to remove 2 liter of ultrafiltrate which might not be required which leads to hypovolemia that is the most common clinical scenario. As I told, hypovolemia, vasoconstriction, decreased perfusion leading to cramps. And apart from that, if this hypovolemia, if I have to put it in technical terms, I can say wrong dry weight calculation. Patient dry weight might be higher, it might be calculated on the lower side, thereby excessive water might be uh, instructed to be removed during dialysis. This is the most common one. So in summary, what is this muscle cramp? involuntary painful contraction of the muscle most commonly seen in the calf muscle why during dialysis because of the hypotension 
hypovolemia excessive ultrafiltrate rate that is more than 13 ml per kg per hour these are all the common causes apart from that low sodium in the dialysate if the patient is re developing recurrent muscle spasm during every dialysis check for patient calcium level low magnesium and carnitine deficiency chronic malnutrition all these causes muscle spasms which causes unpleasant experience during dialysis and even patient's quality of life goes down i hope you got a fair idea about muscle spasm in the next video we are going to discuss regarding how we are going to manage this muscle spasm during the first time and if the patient is developing recurrently that we are going to see in the next video bye bye